Welcome back. I'm working on these trees now here at the back of the vineyard. And I've mixed combinations of my ultramarine blue plus cadmium orange plus a little bit of lemon yellow. And then I've also mixed some phthalo blue plus cadmium orange plus white. And so I'm going to do these trees. First of all, I'm going to kind of put some trunks in here to just kind of guide me where I want my trees to be. Let's let this one break up and over. And we'll have one here. We want them to break up over the mountains in the back and across that field. That just helps to give the feeling of depth in the painting. That's another way to give that impression is just have overlapping elements. And so that's that's what I'm doing here. I'm also using for the dark, this is a mixture of phthalo blue plus liquid. That just gives me a nice cool dark in the shadows of the trees. And then I just play a bunch of different color in here. This tree is back. This one's up there. Just want a variety of cool greens. These are greens that have a lot more blue in them than yellow. That makes them go back. Now I do have a little bit of a warmer tone here, but again, most of my mixes are very cool with lots more blue than they have than the yellow. But I do, like I say, this is still has some lighter white in the, that's a mix of my ultramarine blue plus cadmium yellow medium plus some cadmium lemon and then cadmium orange. A whole bunch of different things in there plus white. So it just, sometimes to get the right mix you have to just combine lots of different, different colors together. This is, a, this is a bright brush. It's a square tipped brush, but I can use that corner to make fairly fine brush strokes. And I want the light from that distant field to kind of pop in and out between these trees. Because then again, that gives that feeling of depth. And my vines are, I'm going to come down lower actually than my vines are going to be, but in between the rows of the vines you'll see those trees going back down. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint some of my tree color in there. And I'm going to mix and take a mixture of phthalo blue plus white. Mix here. And this just again brings some cool down in there. I want this to be a variation of colors. I don't want these just to be solid. This helps give interest. And if you look in nature, trees and flowers and leaves and stuff are not all the same color, they're not all the same value. There's there's lots of variation in, in there. This gives me my trees back here. Just block them in. And my vineyard field will come back. Just use a little bit of this to kind of indicate that edge of the, the vines back here. I'll bring a little bit of that phthalo blue mix along the top of where I want my vines to be. Just to kind of give me a feel. I'll come back and work this more. This just gives me an indication of where my vines are going to be. Come back with a little more dark. Those cool colors, they, they go back and that'll really, as I get my geraniums in and my bougainvillea and my trumpet vine, the orange trumpet vine, that's really going to, to make a difference. All of a sudden these colors that seem so warm in these trees aren't really going to be that warm. 
compared to those yellows, oranges, and reds that we have up here. So there we go. There's our distant trees. I'm going to bring a little more of the trunk just up here. Just kind of come down. And this is a mixture of my mud plus liquid. This is saved from when I sketched the whole composition up on the canvas. That clunking you hear is my mall stick. This hooks over the top of my canvas, or of my top of my easel, and then I can just brace my hand on this to make the lines, make them straight. I have to be careful that I don't get these trees trunks all the same width. I have a tendency to do that. So. so there we go. There are our distant pine trees at the back of that vineyard. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please subscribe to my channel and also visit my blog. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of the video and you can subscribe to that also. I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting and others that I do. So visit my blog and always feel free to ask questions in the comments section. So you have a great day and thank you again.